Welcome back everybody. This week is going to be very much a hodgepodge of things. Um, I'll try to explain as I go but I've finally run out of content and it's just in time because I'm going to be going camping next week so hopefully next week uh, we'll have some van life content but for now here's what we got. I'm just enjoying my first day out here at Cook Creek. It's been wonderful. I've had a really relaxing morning spent the morning in my van, cold, but um, spending time with God. I did a little macrame this afternoon, had a sandwich for lunch. My family's coming out later for supper. I think we're going to have a fire and roast hot dogs. So um, just a really nice afternoon. Oh, I see. What are you doing, Lincoln? I know the lighting isn't very good. It's the best I've got in my van at night time. Just going to break into the audio here and let you know that uh, this part was filmed last year, long before I did my talk on metamorphosis in Mexico. And I was quite surprised to see this in this, um, in this clip because when I talked about metaphor metamorphosis in Mexico, you can see that clip. Um, or sorry, that video, it's it's an earlier video that I posted, but I just thought it was a really neat coincidence that my whole talk down in Mexico had been about metamorphosis, and then I end up talking about it here a whole year before that. And I parked in the carport where I've been staying, and I put the blinds up on my windows, and I kind of laid back, and just the word cocoon popped into my head. And I've sometimes thought, oh, I should name my van. And it really is like a cocoon to me sometimes. It just feels safe and cozy and tight. Um, but it also, like, I guess, I think that's where the word metamorphosis comes from, where you change from one thing into something else. Or, or maybe another way of looking at it is a, a period of growth in your life. And this time in the van, um, my first five and a half months solid of living in the van where I didn't actually have a home to go back to as a backup plan if I, if I <laughs> crashed and burned and couldn't do it. Um, I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned how to deal with things in a better way, probably. I've grown in my walk with God. I just metamorphed. <laughs> is that a word? Not sure. But I feel like I've changed and grown while I've been in this car, in this van, living in this van. And I've only got about four weeks left now before I move into my house. I just booked the mover today. But um, when I said the word cocoon, I thought, huh, Coco. So maybe I've named my van. <laughs> And this footage is also taken from last summer, actually last spring, when I stayed at my friend's place on Vancouver Island. Um, the pictures that are coming up right now are taken through a telescope with my camera held up to it, but there was like a baby eagle, bald eagle, um, growing up in the tree, and this was the first time it left the nest and landed on a branch, so I actually managed to get some footage of that. I've just been spending a really quiet afternoon. Just parked on the side of the road in the shade, trying to keep cool. Almost at the Mill Bay Ferry, which goes to Brentwood Bay. I'm on my way to Victoria. I'm gonna spend the next few days there.
so a good stop by the office on the right hand side of the boat during the sailing. I, can I can't get out. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm going to put that on your dash then and I will find you during the sailing. Great, thanks. First one, first one. What is it? What is it? You have to say what it is before. No, I gotta taste them all. No, you I gotta, gotta say. I think that's tap water. Very good. <laughs> what did you put in this? <laughs> and I'm going to end this off with some relaxing sights and sounds from my backyard. <laughs>